Hello, 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 my beloved. <laughs> we are entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. Accept this full heartedly. Why? That's the lesson of today. I am entitled to miracles. Why? Because I am the extension of God Father. And this is a miracle. I am the most beloved, abundant Son of God. One with the Father, His Holy Son, His unlimited Holy Son. I am not an individual, I am the whole. I am the whole creation, and you too. We are the whole. And here in this world, we split it us in billions and billions of egos. We made up a world out of fear, hate, separation, deprived from the love of God. No, this is not real. So I am entitled to miracles. What does it mean? I'm the miracle. I'm entitled to be the one I am, the Holy Son of God, here and now. And I'm the light of the world. I'm holy. Godfather has kept me holy in his love arms, in his heart. So, with my holiness, I can liberate the world. So the miracle is practically a correction. I made up a world of hate, of separation, of forms. But I'm not a form. I'm beyond form, the light of the world, the wholeness, the Holy Son of God, the Holy Self. That's what I am. And this I share with everyone. And only in this total equality and acceptance as everyone is entitled to miracles. We are sharing one identity. I can liberate myself in the world. If I do not accept the gifts of God, I can't do anything here. I'm really like a devil. If I want love, what can I do? No. I'm not a devil, I'm not an ego. I'm not a form, I'm not a human. I'm not a body making up the hell, the world of death and suffering. No. I let go all worldly religion who tells me from a wrong story of karma, of reincarnation, or whatever, of guilt, of punishment. No. I do not want to be a good human. I'm not a human. I am the Son of God, and I'm entitled to miracles. So the, the liberation of the world depends on my true identity, accepting it for me and everyone, for every being. So the miracle is practically a correction to the truth. I saw everything upside down. In everything I saw only the past. In everything I saw only my projected ideas my judgments, my grievances. And this I have to let go, totally. We have only one purpose, that is healing and sharing one identity. So my miracle, <laughs> I am the miracle, I am the miracle of God and you too, is to undo whatever I made up and to let it be corrected by the, Lord, the voice of love, the Holy Spirit in me, the voice of truth. I am the unlimited one, in the Father. The Father and me are one. I'm not imprisoned in a body. Again and again and again, I have to repeat this in my mind, to accept my true identity, to be the whole, to be the abundant one, to be the holy one, now, I'm the miracle. And as a son of God, I'm entitled to miracles. That's the whole cause, and this I share with you.
feel that oneness with you is a miracle. Only this is a miracle. As long as I judge and see differences, I'm in hate and destructive. So I cannot decide anything on my own. I do have to be guided by the Holy Spirit in any situation. And as such, I embrace the situation because I'm the whole. I'm the whole and I'm only love. And the love of God, which I am, as a whole, is embracing every situation. The whole physical universe is undone in that very love. Yes. So the miracle is correcting all the images I projected out and let the, the truth, the love, the omnipresent love and light prevail. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm entitled to miracles. That's a decision. Not I want miracles. I'm entitled. It's a declaration. I'm entitled to miracles. Isn't it beautiful? What a cause, what a lesson. Wow. Lesson 77. I'm entitled to miracles. You are entitled to miracles because of what you are. You will receive miracles because of what God is. And I am one with God. And you will offer miracles because you are one with God. Yes. Again, how simple is salvation? It is merely a statement of your true identity. It is this that we will celebrate today. So in this little passage is the whole cause. I'm the Holy Son of God. God is one with me. I'm one with the Father. And when I accept this, everyone is liberated. That's all. Not more. Accepting my true identity. My holiness, my fullness. I'm not a body. I'm free. I'm the whole. Wow. <laughs> Your claim to miracle does not lie on your illusions about yourself. No, I'm not a woman. It does not depend on any magical powers you have ascribed to yourself, nor on any of the rituals you have devised. It is inherent in the truth of what you are. I am the unlimited, beloved Son of God, the extension of the Father. No less than the Father. It is implicit of what God your Father is. It was ensured in your creation and guaranteed by the laws of God. By the laws of God, as we practiced yesterday. I'm under no laws but God's. But where am I when I say this? In the Father. Only in the Father is life. And there I am, beloved, eternally, whole and holy. Today we will claim the miracle which are your right, since they belong to you. You have been promised full release from the world you made. Yes. You have been assured that the kingdom of God is within you and can never be lost. So I can choose the kingdom of God because I am that. We ask no more than what belongs to us in truth. Today, however, we will also make sure that we, we will not content ourselves with less. So I'm the whole. I'm the abundant, holy child of God. And this I accept today with a full right. I'm entitled to miracles. Begin the longer practice periods by telling yourself quite conf confidently that you are entitled to miracles. Closing your eyes, remind yourself that you are asking only for what is rightfully yours, because I am God's son. Remind yourself also that miracles are never taken from one and given to another, and that in asking for your rights, you are upholding the rights of everyone. So I am everyone, and accepting my rights to miracles is accepting the rights for everyone, because I am everyone. So I have to share this. 
my true identity with everyone. That cannot be less in anyone. I shared. I am the whole. Without accepting the wholeness, I am. I can't do any good. I am the whole and I am here only to give the full inheritance of God to everyone. That is a miracle. Miracles do not obey the laws of this world. They merely, merely follow from the laws of God. Right. After this brief introductory phase, wait quietly for the assurance that, that your request is granted. You have asked for the salvation of the world. Yes. And for your own. Yes. That I am the Holy Son of God. I am that what God is. I'm the extension of the Father. I'm one with the Father. I'm the heaven. So that is a miracle. You have requested that you be, be given the means by which this is accomplished. You cannot fail to be assured in this. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm seemingly here with the body. But in truth, I'm in the Father. And I'm giving the full inheritance, which is my beingness, to everyone. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm having this handy, this mobile, <laughs> and telling you the truth. You are but asking that the will of God be done. Yes. Father, let the will be done through me, and bless everyone through me, the whole universe, with your inheritance, with the self, the holy self we all share. This is a miracle. In the, doing this, you do not really ask for anything. You state a fact that cannot be denied. The Holy Spirit cannot but assure you that you re your request is granted. The fact that you accept must be so. The fact that you accept it must be so. There is no room for doubt and uncertainty today. It's very important. I am. I have the right. I am the Holy Son of God. Not a little miserable creature waiting for death. No. I'm the whole, I'm the unlimited one, I'm that one which I am. And so I request now the full assurance that I have the right to miracles. Beautiful. There is no room for doubt or uncertainty today, no. No, no. We are asking a real question at last. The answer is simply st st statement of a simple fact. You will receive the assurance that you seek. Yes, I have received it. I am still in the Father. I am still the one God has created. And here with that body in this world, I am just giving miracles. That's my right. But in truth, we are all back home. We are all back home in the Father. I am the most beautiful, powerful, unlimited child of God. I am his holy son and you too. That's the miracle. <sighs> Your shorter practice periods will be frequent and will also be devoted to a, to a reminder of a simple fact. Tell yourself often today, I am entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. Yes. I am beyond form. I am not in a body. I am not imprisoned. I am entitled to miracles. I am the Holy Son of God in the Father. Either we are in hell, believing we are human, and suffer and wait for death, or we decide to be what we are. The Holy Son of God, in the Father, sharing one identity with everyone. And there we are, entitled to miracles. Isn't that beautiful? My holiness is my salvation. My holiness I share with everyone. It's nothing my holiness cannot do. So I'm whole and holy in the Father. I'm that joy, I'm that joy, I'm that joy, that unlimited joy. Nothing can lack, is lacking. God Father gave himself to me and to you. We are there where Father has placed us. So let's undo this world. There is no world. The world is gone and the real world emerges in our mind where we all love each other and always have loved each other. So let's undo the world of death. 
finish with dying, with suffering, with diseases. Do not be, uh, don't be addicted to forms. No. Ask, well, I'm entitled to miracles. Ask for them whenever a situation arises in which they are called for. You will recognize these situations. And since you are not relying on yourself to find the miracle, you are fully entitled to receive it wherever you ask. So there are no problems. We ask for a miracle instead of a problem. There is no problem. The only problem is the idea that we are separate from God. So we ask for a miracle. Remember, too, not to be satisfied with less than the perfect answer. Be quick to tell yourself, should you be tempted. I will not trade, I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. I repeat that. I will not trade miracles for grievances. No. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. What a great lesson. What a great lesson. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. It's really wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm the miracle. I'm the one of God. I'm the almighty. Holy Son of God, his extension. Father, you love me. And you are one with me. So the whole thing I have to do, my only function is to give the miracle to everyone, to see in everyone the Holy Son of God, to see in everyone the Christ, and to let those pictures which I made up go. I let the light turn on today. I'm back home in the Father. Father, bless for me every being so that they are liberated from the mortal form I projected. I am present. Let this world be undone. I am the heaven, one with you. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. All the figures I made up is not real. It's not real, just a dream. A dream of suffering, a dream of death. Nothing to do with the reality. Reality is love. Reality is life. Reality is joy. No sufferings, no diseases, no calamities, no wars, no conflicts, only light and love. Have a beautiful day. I'm more than satisfied. We have such a beautiful task to do. Just to accept who we are. And with this, we liberate everyone. Everyone. Because we are everyone. Couldn't be more beautiful what we have to do. God gave us everything. Wow. Claim your right to miracles today together with me for everyone. That is what we do. No dark corner in our mind anymore. Let's enlighten. Enlighten the whole world, the whole universe. Finish with darkness and forms. Be free in the Father now. Happy day. <laughs>